Good evening, how can I help you? Is this a domestic violence hotline? Yes, it is. Are you in a safe place to talk? I think I am. Okay, well, as long as you're in a safe place to talk, that's fine with me. All right. Well, I'm not sure how to start. Mm -hmm. So what made you call today? Well, I've had this number hidden in my phone for a while. A friend gave it to me. She thought I could use it. But I didn't think I'd need it. Until now. Mm -hmm. But then it started to change. I longed mm -hmm. to get ready. He called me a so bitch. Kept... And he said he wasn't going to go because of my attitude. Hurry up. He called me a bitch. Like I shouldn't have said it. He said he wasn't going to go because of he my attitude. He was taking forever. Anyways, we both ended up not going. We stopped going out in general pretty much. And we pretty much kept to ourselves. He kept calling me names and started pushing me. And he'd even pinch me if I said something that he didn't like. Anyways, today, we went out to dinner. It was so nice. We actually were getting along really good. But when we got back to the dorm, one of these guys I know from one of my classes, he held the door for us. He said hi. It was harmless. But Chad got mad. It was so embarrassing. One of my friends was the SSO that was on. And when we got to the elevator, he threatened me about when we'd get back to the room, what would happen. You just wait till we get to the room. right? He pushed me on the bed and he hit me. He's never done that before. He's done little things but never this. I don't understand why this happened. It's like I trusted him so much. Why would he do this? You're doing a great job by just calling in. No one. Huh? Give me no the one. fucking phone. No. Give me the fucking no. phone. No. Stop. Huh? Who are you talking to? Huh? No. Tell me who you're talking to. Hello? Hello? 